I want to delve a little bit more into what's happening in Hollywood with what's happening in Hollywood? with Weinstein <laughs> yes. and just Kevin Spacey. Um, what are your thoughts on what the next generation has, or what the, what Hollywood's going to look like even next year? God, I mean, I think it's great. I'm all for waking up. I'm all for waking up and, you know, and shining light on the darkness and the truth of what's happening and what has been happening. Um, it's untenable to treat people that way, men or women. It's just untenable to me and um, unacceptable behavior. And we have to have, uh, you know, an agreed upon ethics and morals that we don't go below and and you know rel relinquish at a moment's notice and so i think it's great that it's coming out and i really think it's going to make a difference in the women coming up i really do i just don't i just think they'll find a, they'll already have a voice about it because they have this army now behind them saying this is what happened and this is what's happening and it's not okay so they will be able to use their voice I think hopefully we're just more awake. We're just more woke. We're not having any of this, and this is not okay. And and we're gonna talk about it. Daddy. You wanna explain that? Daddy, I'm really sorry. Story of a Girl is your directorial debut, but you get this passion project, or I guess I'm saying that for myself, but you get to work with your daughter. Yes, exactly. Um, Story of a Girl is a book I bought in 2007. Tried to get it made for 10 years as a film. Finally got to get it made. I hired um, Sosie, to be in it, and uh, Kevin Bacon um, plays a very unusual role for him, and he does an amazing job. And um, it was something that I've been wanting to make for 10 years, and then it, when it finally came to fruition, I was ready to direct, and directing was joyful beyond my wildest dreams, and something I want to pursue mightily. When you look at the statistics and the numbers, it's still appallingly low, the amount of female directors that are out there and actually able to work in this field and able to get movies made, have movies at film festivals, um, get hired to direct small movies, big movies, or even TV. So it's pretty appalling, the numbers. Hopefully that will change. I certainly think that when someone like Patty Jenkins goes out there and, you know, and her movie makes a ton of money, that it's really great for all women. I also know that it took her... It was more than 10 years between Monster and, um, and Wonder Woman. And she directed Charlize Theron to an Oscar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's going to take us some time. We're, we're not past the critical time of, of the inequity. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Daily Glass Live was so happy to have you.